Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Komi Can't Communicate episode number uh, 4 reaction. Season 2 episode number 4 reaction. Okay, uh, the previous episode, we uh, there was a, a kind of few sections. It was divided into again. The first section was uh, Tadano being, you could say, the translator or interpreter of Komi. He is the master of actually like you know understanding what people who doesn't talk much what they feel for example he was able to correctly properly tell each and everything that komi was feeling just by watching her and <laughs> nakanaka and yamai wanted to know the secret of this power so they tried but unfortunately by the end of it uh they kind of were able to but in the end they failed so yeah tadano is still the official translator or interpreter you could say of komi and you could say this also happens with makoto as well because he's also able to like you know kind of interpret what makoto is feeling so i, I didn't say that she is like you know he like you know i just said that uh dadano is like an interpreter for people like komi so it's not only komi you know he can probably do that to anyone who has social anxiety so yeah now that and then like another you know, the next section we get uh, a continuation of the delusions of the you know the three of them the three uh, boys <laughs> and we get onemine san i think otori san and finally we also get a komi scenario where they were kind of thinking of komi in a historical setting and it was kind of nice and then when komi comes in they're like oh my god like you know let's stop talking we should not let this they cannot come they cannot come out like you know the girls shouldn't know about this and they leave <laughs> oh my god and uh, <clears throat> yeah then the next section with katai makoto we get you know makoto calls uh tadano out to a, a like, you know, for uh recess and uh, you know they kind of have lunch komi wants to get like you know kind of get involved but she was like you know obviously like scared after looking at makoto but so by the end of it tadano kind of introduce them officially yeah, and they are friends now and i think she also wrote her name uh, uh makoto's name down in her uh, book so yeah that's good progress and the final section of which was of sweet potatoes and roasted sweet potatoes i think and komi goes out to buy some like you know buy some uh, after uh, given a little money from her dad and tadano also goes out and then they kind of meet they kind of exchange a little conversation and tadano gets a, a like you know a sweet potato <laughs> from komi and then they go back it was a like a nice little section so yeah let's see what this episode brings um this is episode number four of komi can't communicate season two let's get started i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's start all right here's the countdown three two one go oh. Christmas Eve. <laughs> okay. Let's see. All right. Let's see who it is. Is it Najimi or is it Tadano? There you go. I knew it. I knew it. 2000 yen. Okay. Reasonable. <laughs> As always, Najimi is just so. What? Why not? Uh... <laughs> Want to ask her mom? Or 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 her brother? Yeah. There you go. Yep. <laughs> they don't need to talk. Just looking at them, they're able to understand. Wait, is this? Oh no, this is not new. Okay. <laughs> mm 
<laughs> All right. Forced into coming. Wow. She's not happy about this. <laughs> Why doesn't he do some sh shop? I don't know. Uh, rice crackers. This should be enough. Wants to leave. One kg. Wants to leave. <laughs> Three. <laughs> okay. All right. Choice two. Base with reindeer. Okay. That, that's good. There yeah, choose that. I think that should be the correct choice. <laughs> oh my god, the Santa was amazing. <laughs> Twerking Santa. Okay. <laughs> Ear just pops up. <clears throat> okay. All right, a muffler, Scott, Scott, muffler. Yeah, she's happy with this. Go bite. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, she did not bring money? But... <laughs> well... Oh my god. Waited outside. Wow, everyone's here. Great. Wait, what? I didn't see that. Oh, there you go. There's Tazan. I'm like, where is he? Wait, today was... Wait, really? Tomorrow? Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay. Wow, that's a... Alright, that's nice. <laughs> Thanks for the invite. Great. <laughs> I'm pretty sure she Yeah, there you go <laughs> Uh, I don't know yeah, okay, that's that's good. <laughs> oh, she talked. Okay. Oh my god. What? Who's going to get Komi's present? Yep. Or or or, or that, okay. Or that, yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> okay, some doesn't care, all right. Greedy ones. <laughs> but Agari is also, okay. Imagination. 
<laughs> oh my god. But, okay. I was just going to say that like, if someone's oh my god so that's why they're like should we go sit first or not <laughs> she's also probably kind of thinking about this where do I sit oh or, or that okay okay this will be a long wait Wait, they're doing rock pepper. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, that's also a good plan. <laughs> Wait, who won? Oh my god. Yamai? Okay. Oh my god. Okay, well, there you go. There you go. There you go. All right, now. <laughs> I wonder what Yamai is. <laughs> Never. I, I, okay. The King's game? Yep. Here we go. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. I'm pretty sure Yamai has this all planned out. Yep. Yeah. You sneaky little. <laughs> what the? Yeah. Oh no. Okay, let's see. I'm pretty sure something will go wrong here. Let's see what goes wrong. <laughs> nah, she's not okay. Wait, she, she got the... Okay, I think she got it. <laughs> okay, wow. High point of the day. All right. Okay. Seven has to listen. Who is seven? Oh, it's only minya. <laughs> Low point of the day. Uh, is it Otori? Oh yeah. Okay. Okay, that was... Um... <laughs> <laughs> Our world is going in slow motion. Oh, is he going to cha- is he going to challenge them or something? Yeah, I'll... Oh my god, this guy. <laughs> uh, 
Oh well. What the hell? My hair is sticking out. Alright. <laughs> Alright. Something related to gaming or something? Oh, maybe it's nine. Maybe he's no. Maybe she's. Shh. What the hell? She's she's she had that upside down. She had that up down upside down. I think. Yep. There you go. One of the cheapest ploys. <laughs> Context. <laughs> oh my god, he's number three. Wait, what? When did she come in? I wonder what she'll. Oh my god. Oh no! Oh 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 okay okay okay. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Wait, who's the king? No one. Oh, it's coming. It's coming. It's coming. Nope. It's coming. There you go. How is she going to? Is she going to speak? Oh, she can write. Okay. <laughs> Let's stay all stay friends. Ah, that's that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Sweet point of the day. <laughs> okay, that was cute. Oh, we're going back. Okay. Back down the. Uh, all right. Oh, that's how he got to know. And fourth. Yep. Wait, he didn't even know that that day was 24th? All right, there you go. Well, she's probably stalking her, so she probably knows what's happening. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Oh, what is that? Oh, wait, so before buying the big uh, plushie, they were doing this. Okay, and it's now, I'm guessing they came to a conclusion in the end that let's all pull together the money and get something big. All right. <laughs> what the hell? She probably bought something extremely expensive and it's way over. <coughs> All right. Handmade cake. 
tédio. Não. Alright. I guess the cake was fine, but... Ah. Whoa, whoa. Is she going to say myself or something? Yep. I, I knew all these, these type of people, how their mind works. <laughs> okay. Digital money. <laughs> Oh. Okay. <laughs> Protein. <laughs> I don't think she needs that. Oh my god. All right. Vanilla ice cream. Yeah. Oh wow. Okay. Perfect for her. Oil timer, okay. These are kind of nice looking. Yeah, yeah. And these are, these are quite good gifts, I have to say. Oh my god, what did they... <laughs> okay. Wait, what did Tada know? <laughs> what did Tada know? Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what did he... Oh no! Okay, okay, okay. So they, okay. So he chose it, okay. Ah, uh, so they're going to pull together. Hmm. Yeah, that's better, you know? True. True. Oh my god, what now? Okay, well... <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> she was really not expecting that, you know? <laughs> nah, can I? Wait, tomorrow is 26th? Like, today is 20... Why is it written 25th then? No, 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 no. They're showing everything from Tadano's perspective now. Alright. Wait, her cowlick is also moving. <laughs> nah, it's not that. There you go, she, she probably sent the mail. Yep. Damn, she was fast. Thank you for your content friendship. With my Christmas, I have appeared and moved to you, but my appreciation. <laughs> He's crying. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Yep.
Everyone save. <laughs> okay. All right, that was a good episode. Wait, one thing I don't understand. It was written her birthday was on the 25th. And they came on the 25th, didn't they? Or was it the 24th they came? They said like, happy, Merry Christmas and Happy Birthday. That means they came on 25th. Why did Komi say my birthday is tomorrow? Like, wasn't it supposed to be on the 25th? I really don't understand that part. Like, what, what was that? Like, so when is her birthday? 25th or the 26th? I'll, I'll go back to that part and try to see what happened. Oh, one thing I'm I'm kind of uh, like I'm not, I realize Makoto was not there. It would have been nice if Makoto was also like you know came. Like I know like he he became friends very recently, so that's why probably. Bonus, okay. Oh, when they were buying the okay. <laughs> For home use question mark. All right, he spoke. Okay, all right, that's, okay, that's the... Ah. Uh, okay, that's an interesting thing. Like, so basically, for Shosuke, she, he actually, he doesn't, that means he doesn't have social anxiety. It's just that she doesn't like, he usually doesn't talk that much. So he can talk if he wants to. Okay, okay, so that's like the difference between Homi and um, Shosuke. I think that was his name, yeah. Right, so this episode, this was an episode which was uh, revolving around Christmas and uh, Komi's birthday. So at first, uh, <clears throat> Komi was all like kind of bored and everything, and the phone is like you know ringing. And at that moment, I realized it's probably like you know Najimi because uh, like it's either Tadano or Najimi, and I thought it was Najimi because Najimi is usually the one to actually call up and you know make these type of plans. And we saw later on as well that Tadan was the one who realized the birthday, but he was the one who told Najimi to call Komi and tell everyone else. So, yeah, now, <clears throat> okay, so she says like, all right, so we're going to have a Christmas party. We're going to exchange gifts, this, that, you know, like, so uh, be ready the next day. It was 24th, the day she called, the day Najimi called. Okay, that I'm sure. Okay, so one day left you know komi needs to go and buy the presents and uh you know like do the other stuff so she's like all right i will be able to buy it on my own who should i take with me and at that moment shosuke was just passing by and komi was like all right target acquired let's go then <laughs> at first i thought she was going to probably going to take her mom or something but all right shosuke i guess this was uh like you know a good opportunity to see more of him because we barely get to like, you know, we barely got introduced to him in the previous season and we didn't see him much. So this episode, we got uh, get a lot of, like, you know, his screen time. Now, they go to the uh, mall and they're like, like, you know, Komi is very excited. Like, you know, she's kind of looking around this and that. And Shosuke is like, oh my God, why am I here? <laughs> and she's just kind of like, you know, trying to buy, you know, buy, 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 uh, what do you call it? Uh, by the present and Shosuke was like all right like you know, she, he buys a rice cracker and tries to leave and Komi's like wait a minute uh, it says something about like you know be like you know a choice she gives gives him a choice I think that was probably like okay wait a minute Oh, okay, I realized what it is. I was like, what, what does she, she mean by three? She says that she'll narrow down the choices to three. Like, since she was all, like, you know, kind of going around trying to uh, buy present. That's why, <laughs> obviously, Shosuke was uh, going back because she was taking too long. That's why she's like, all right, I'm going to narrow it down to three. And then I'm going to choose. So that's what she was saying. I was like, what, what does she mean by three? All right, makes sense. Uh, so the first one was an assortment of candles. The second one was... A reindeer vase, I think. The third one was a 
Santa doll. Oh my god, remember the dancing Santa doll. Oh my god. That was funny. <laughs> Seeing the Santa doll shows girls like, nah, I'm not having any of this. <laughs> Tries to leave again. <laughs> oh my god. But then Komi, like, you know, kind of uh, likes one of the products, which is, I think that was like a, what was that? Like a muffler, I think? Yeah. And uh, yeah, she she's like, all right, I'm going to choose this. <laughs> <laughs> and it was well within budget, like you know, without uh, within two thousand yen. <laughs> She's like, go buy it. Tells uh, uh, Shosuke to go and buy it. Now here's where I was a little bit confused. I was like, wait a minute, why is he she telling Shosuke to to go and buy it? Didn't she bring money from her house? Like, you know, from from house. And now I'm that I'm rewatching this part. I'm realizing it's not that she was telling. Shosuke to go and buy it she was telling him to go on her behalf and buy it that means she borrowed the money it was just that she wouldn't like you know, wouldn't be able to go to the cashier and uh, check out like that was what she was having trouble with that's why she said Shosuke to go and buy it I realized that now like while I was reacting I thought okay we already like you know like got the budget and everything so she should have enough money since she brought it from the home so why is she telling his brother her brother to go and buy it Okay, now I realize it's merely that she was she was basically socially awkward and doesn't didn't want to go and buy it and converse with the cashier. That's why she tell, told Shosuke. Okay, I understand now. All right, the next uh, part we get to see that everyone's here, and you know th this is the part where I I was kind of you know like I wasn't able to catch up with what was happening. They say Merry Christmas and when they were saying that there's like a little like you know those little uh, speech bubbles that come up and it was written that Komi was got impatient and was waiting outside. I was reading that and you know I I didn't pay attention to what they said after that. They said happy birthday. I, I don't know what happened like you know, like my brain kind of lapsed for a moment or something. I completely <laughs> missed the happy birthday. I <laughs> like you know and then I'm looking at the all the people and I'm like wait a minute where's Tadano I wasn't able to spot Tadano as well at that moment and then later on I see that Komi is just keeping quiet and everything and then I realized that they just said happy birthday and then like you know my mind started functioning again and I'm like oh so today is also her birthday it also caught me by shock you know what <laughs> for a moment there I became like Komi for, uh, for a second there, like, I don't know why, but I completely missed that happy birthday. Since Even though it was such a big thing that came on the screen, my mind lapsed for a moment. And I was like, all right, so yeah, this is what happened. And then I'm like, okay, so it's her birthday. <laughs> and <laughs> Komi just completely shuts down. She, she doesn't say anything. She's probably just surprised. She was not expecting that at all. And... They're like, wait a minute, isn't your birthday on the 25th? Now, here's where I get confused a little bit. Komi is like, and like keeping quiet and everyone's looking at Tadon and everyone's like, what the hell, you just said that it's 25th. And uh, Tadon's like, yeah, I, I also know that. It's 25th, isn't it? And she bring, like, kind of brings up the uh, notebook and it's written, my birthday is tomorrow. Thank you. Is this a translation error or something? I don't understand. It's written my birthday is tomorrow, so... But wasn't her birthday on the 25th? Like, let me know if you guys understand this part. Like, I, I really don't understand. Like, the thing that Komi is saying and what was written on the, the, the phone book or whatever, like 25th of December, is different, isn't it? And... Like, you know, she shows the, the notebook to them where it's written, my birthday is tomorrow, thank you. And um, everyone's like, oh, yeah, yeah, okay, that's good then. And then they go in, like, hand her the present. Like, this part really confuses me. I'm, I'm, I think maybe, maybe the translation, there was like a translation error in the notebook part. Or is it something else? Like, like what happened here? I don't understand. Like, is it the 25th or is it the 26th? When is, his, is her birthday? That's my question, but I don't know what the hell happened here, but okay, never mind that. But either way, it's either this day or the next day, either like, you know, like, 
either way thinking about it <clears throat> anyways uh Komi gets like a big plushie cat plushie and everyone's like happy birthday happy birthday wishing her you know uh for the birthday and Tadano is also like oh happy birthday and then <laughs> he's like what should i say here and he he he, he, he does a, like kind of gives a good response he's like all right you could just you know you can thank them later on but just like you know sending a mail thank you mail to them and i'm like yeah this is good you know like she can do that and komi was just too overwhelmed and happy with the gift so yeah now the next part is when they get in and here i was thinking like when they're talking about greed and everything <laughs> i was thinking they were probably going to exchange the presents which i'm pretty sure happened but i don't know why they did not show that part to us like today was not only komi's birthday but it was also christmas so there should be an exchange of presents shouldn't they like we saw komi buying a present as well so there should be an exchange but they didn't show anything about the present exchange but any anyways uh, never mind that um we get in and they're like all right where should we sit and they're all like you know calculating now a nice little like you know what can i say dilemma pops up here where <laughs> Like, you know, the, like they were kind of overthinking this whole process at first they were like all right like what we could do is we could go and sit down in the beginning and uh, you know if we do that we're going to get like you know the best spot like you know for example they can sit in the, in the kotatsu so that komi later on comes in and they have a higher chance of sitting beside komi but if they do that there's a big problem which is that if komi by chance does not sit beside them and they can sit beside someone else there'll be a huge like you know what do you call it like you know like a huge like you know, they'll, they'll feel uncomfortable and they'll be like oh she chose that person instead of me so this this whole thing was going on so they were kind of like you know, in a dilemma as to whether to sit down or wait for komi to sit down and then sit and if they wait for komi to sit down and sit they might not get the chance to sit because someone might swoop in and get in that position first so they were kind of thinking all of these while a few of them were just you know plainly just sat down for example najimi was like oh i'm going to sit on the ball and uh, onemini and otori just sat down on the sofa so <laughs> so all of this was happening and komi is just you know everyone's just looking at komi komi has just frozen completely uh, with anxiety <laughs> and komi's mom is like okay takes like you know like let's uh, go and buy some drinks and kind of get some drinks and snacks komi goes and tadano and uh, najimi also goes to help her and that's where they do the whole rock paper scissors thing and they kind of come to a mutual understanding as to what's going to happen whoever wins is going to sit in a position and leave a space in the middle for komi so that komi when comes back that's the only place left for her so that she goes and sits over there and i thought that was a really genuinely good plan unfortunately the fact the thing here is that komi is socially awkward and socially uh like you know she she's intimidated by others uh so <laughs> seeing something like that like everyone just like you know sitting down and there's like a little empty space there she's like oh my god i'm not going to sit there i'm going to sit here somewhere else and i feel like that's like one of the most common things that all people who have social like you know social awkward or social problems uh to interact with others i feel like that's a thing that everyone feels like if you see like you know like i don't know like there's like a lot of people just sitting in like a social gathering or something and then there's like one place you know in the middle of them you know people people who are socially awkward and who are like you know intimidated by these type of situations they definitely won't go there and sit down there that's never going to happen you know they're going to seat somewhere else in the corner or something so unfortunately that whole plan backfired because that situation made komi uncomfortable she definitely wouldn't go and sit down over there so she just decided to sit in the sidelines you know and like tadano was also like you know sitting uh, like you know on the sidelines as well so komi was like all right let's just sit beside tadano and <laughs> there you go <laughs> the whole plan failed yamai was like you know kind of staring daggers at tadano <laughs> but yeah that was that all right the next is the osama game or the king's game which is one of the most common uh, games that uh, we see in anime being played by like you know friends and all so 
Okay, we all know the rules of this is basically there'll be straws, you know, one of them will be marked. Whoever is the one who picks that is going to choose random numbers and tell them to do something. And yeah, that's basically it. And it's kind of rotates the whole thing. So <clears throat> here I, I pretty much realized that um, Yamai probably did something to the markings because the first one was she was the one who won the first. And uh, she had like I kind of went into a thinking mode where she was thinking that oh like um okay so yeah they, they kind of like you know went into thinking mode when they were uh thinking that all right uh what should i do what should i ask for me should I tell her to do something questionable or should i ask for her address and i think in the by the end of it she she talks about how she already knows the address but asking her for it is going to make a bigger impact so that's why she just wanted to do that and i feel like she's she in the by the end of it she she chose that because they did not yeah she we see her kind of asking for the address so that's what she chose and i'm guessing komi probably gave that to her and and the next one was um najimi i think yeah and najimi's like you know choice was the high point as they say of this thing where she's like oh santa cosplay number four is going to do that <laughs> I don't know how she guessed that number four was Komi, but yeah, never mind that. Um, and yeah, perfect. Santa, uh, Komi in a Santa cosplay. <laughs> All right, everyone was happy. And uh, oh, she herself also did it. Okay. Uh, the next one was um, Tadano, I think. Yeah, Tadano. And Tadano was like, oh, number seven has to message the, massage the king's so shoulders. And it was Onemine. And everyone's like, oh, this is the low point of the game. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, the next one was... Um, Otori? Yeah. And she just takes so much time to just you know, give the order. And uh, the next one was the other guy. Uh, what's his name? Um, no, sorry, the next one was Makeru. Yeah. <laughs> and like you know uh, the, like the other guys thought that i also thought he was going to ask everyone like you know others to challenge her or something but she said something like oh like you know everyone say that you lost to me that was weird, <laughs> weird but whatever floats her boat you know she likes that uh thing you know like uh, the prospect of winning something so yeah all right the next one is agari oh my god agari's one was as always weird you know she's like oh like you know treat me like a dog <laughs> the next one was Nakanaka Naka and what does she okay what what does she say oh okay so uh, yeah I remember uh, Nakanaka Naka kind of tries to see uh, Yamai's number and she unleashes her uh, hidden whatever eye like you know the mystic eye or whatever you call it <laughs> Oh my god, it was basically color contact, so yeah. And uh, she sees that, and I knew that it was it was going to be, like, you know, kind of upside down, and she would make that mistake, because Yamai, like, you know, is, like, you know, kind of knows that there, she is going to do something like that. So she says, like, oh, like, you know, number six is going to spin around in front of King and say woof. <laughs> and Yamai's like, you fool, all according to Keikaku, here you go. I'm not number six, but I'm number nine. <laughs> okay, so wait a minute. So who was number six here? Just a sec. I forgot. Oh, number six was Tadano. Okay, okay. All right. So <laughs> the next one is Komi's mom, and she goes completely deep into the whole thing where she's like, "Oh, number I think four or something." You know? Number nine and number. Just a sec. Number four, yeah, number four and number six, <laughs> and number nine. Sorry, uh, like a number nine kisses the chick, uh, kisses the number four or something like that. She says. For a moment, I I really thought it was going to be Komi, but <laughs> like yeah, like you know that that's not happening. Obviously, like it's way too early for that. <laughs> we still need at least hundred episodes uh, more for that to, that time to come i guess but <laughs> but yeah it was uh, shinobi no mono 
and after like you know kissing him he's like blushing and uh, yeah that was that was funny okay the final one i think that was the final one yeah like was komi who was obviously like when everyone's asking who who is number who's the king no one answers and i, I realized that was komi at that moment and there you go komi is like i hope everyone of us could stay friends and that was nice a nice ending to that and later she gets embarrassed and then the next scene we see everything from tadamo's perspective where tadamo was just kind of uh thinking about the previous day about the roasted potato and here you go uh tadamo sees komi's birthday is on december 25th so yeah her birthday is 25th so why did she say that it's on the 26th it's tomorrow i don't understand that part still uh it's probably a translation error or something i don't know but never mind um so he's like oh it's 25th and then he looks at the cal- calendar that day is 24th and the next day is 25th <laughs> and she he quickly calls uh najimi to inform everyone and to call komi as well so like Na- najimi like i feel like najimi is the perfect person for this like you know to call all the others and invite them and like you know surprise komi to surprise komi and uh like like this is the thing that i like it's like uh, tadano could have just you know like would could have just be like all right let me like you know wish her a birthday and let me buy a gift for her and he could have d- done that alone but he decided to involve everyone because he thought most probably that komi would be happy about that you know like komi wants to make friends so she would be happier so he he did not think of it from his perspective he thought it from komi's perspective what she would like and that's why she he did that which i which i, I appreciate you know he could have just himself done it you know alone but no nah. uh, never mind that okay so all right so everyone's there and yama is missing and i was like yeah and now yama is probably going to come up sooner or later because she's probably busy stalking komi and she already knows and there you go she's just ready there just probably like you know kind of trying to find a perfect present for her and they get yama now they they do a little contest here where they're going to choose something a uh, perfect present for komi which will be lower than 5000 yen and uh, okay so the first one is oh my god i knew what yamai was going to say like and i've seen so many people like her in anime and i very much know what they're going to do like you know and yeah i knew it she was going to say something like oh it's me you know the present is me <laughs> and some ribbon would be like you know wrapped around her And there you go that's what she completely said over there and I'm like yeah why am I not surprised about this <laughs> present me price priceless you know wow well, so that in itself is like you know a fail because the budget was below 5000 yen so as soon as she did that it was a failure <laughs> right the next one is nakanaka she brought like a digital currency i think yeah something like that uh digital money which was 5000 yen and 5000 yen <laughs> which makes sense since this is you know kanaka oh my god was that a pineapple <laughs> pine okay uh, all right <laughs> the next one was uh, uh what was her name um what i mean it wasn't it uh, yeah I, i i oh my god i, I suddenly forgot her name Yeah, I think one oh, minute. Yeah, so yeah, she's like, okay, I brought a uh, pickled e plums. Uh 4200 yen. Um I guess it's okay, but I don't know, like you know giving pickled plum on a birthday. I don't know how that's actually like. All right, so the next one, makeru, makeru brought protein. Okay, great. Like yeah, that's definitely not <laughs> something that someone should give someone in a like you know in a birthday. All right, the next one is Najimi. Najimi brought uh, a vanilla ice cream, 2 kg, 1680. <laughs> yeah, everything's weighing 2 kg. All right, um Agari brought some oh my god, dog books and dog training manuals or whatever. Like, yeah. we're pretty sure what why she brought that <laughs> okay otori brought okay i i really liked otori's present which was 
like oil timer i think that was what it's called it's perfect for her because it's kind of in slow motion always just like how Oturi is always slow motion and uh, i i like that present a lot it's kind of a decorative thing and uh, you know like it, it looks nice i don't know i i feel like i would probably choose Oturi's present out of all of these uh Tadano's present was also good i'm not gonna lie these two these two are the best in my opinion <laughs> The, the, the other uh, the other five they weren't able to choose anything because they didn't re know what to pick for Komi and uh, Najimi's choice number two is the dancing Santa and I feel like you know what the dancing Santa would have probably been a win because Komi before Komi chose that as well so <laughs> it would have been a win but yeah now Tadano's choice was the big plushie which was 8000 yen and he says he, he brings out a pretty good point he's like yeah like you know this is like going a bit too far i think like you know five thousand yen for every person's present i think that'll be make him her extremely awkward like yeah like definitely like five thousand yen is a pretty good chunk of money and there's like so many of them so basically like you know how many of them were there like 10 to 12 of them so they would end up like buying us like you know like 60 or 70,000 yen worth of presents. Like, that would definitely make someone very uncomfortable since, like, you know, Komi is like a student and, you know, like, like yeah, and Tadan was like, kind of correct here completely. So Tadan was like, yeah, for, like, let's make this like a, uh, what can I say, something that would not intimidate her that much. 8,000 yen, perfect for all of us. And this huge plushie is something that we think, like, Komi is going to appreciate, you know. And uh, yeah, there you go. The best choice was Tadanos, you could say. And everyone, I'm, I'm guessing everyone also probably thought about it for a moment. And they're like, yeah, you're right. Like, you know, like so much, like, you know, so many of us and each 5,000 yen. That's definitely going to overwhelm Komi. And this is the perfect choice. And uh, yeah, they, they buy it and then they go to Komi. And then we get the, like, you know, scene, we get to see the scene again where Komi just freezes and everyone's like everyone's like wait isn't 25th your birthday and everyone's asking Tadano Tadano <laughs> it's fine I love that scene where Tadano <laughs> asks Yamai <laughs> as if like you know Yamai, Yamai is also one, another one of those masters of Komi who knows like you know everything about Komi like Komi master <laughs> and he actually asks for confirmation from y Yamai and Yamai is like yeah I also think that 25th is the day don't ask me. <laughs> and then, okay, and then Komi brings up the thing and says, my birthday is tomorrow, thank you. Again, I don't understand. So what, which day was her birthday? Is it 25th or is it 26th? But never mind that, you know, like they give her the gift and we kind of see what happened over there and yeah. Now, then they go back and everyone's like, oh, she was not that surprised or not that happy about it. Everyone's feeling something like that. But Tadano knows what she, she was feeling. So, and then the message comes in and everyone's just reading the message. Thank you for your continued friendship. This is Komi Shoko. I'm truly thankful for celebrating my birthday not long ago with uh, the Christmas party. I may have appeared and moved to you, but uh, oh, okay, I missed that. Um, I might have uh, seemed appeared unmoved to you but my appreciation was beyond description so i would like you to accept my deepest gratitude and everyone's like oh this is too formal but uh, yeah and in the end najimi is like yeah let's do this next year as well and everyone saved the mail and uh, yeah that was perfect and in the end we get a little bonus section where we get to see uh, when komi was checking out <laughs> and Shosuke helped her out to uh, take the, you know, uh, take the gift or buy the gift. And uh, here we get to know that Shosuke is not, like, you know, he, he just doesn't, I think, like to speak much. That's just it. He can talk normally, but not like, uh, like, you know, Komi, where she, she has socially, like, you know, awkward, like, you know, she's socially awkward. That's not the problem with Shosuke. Shosuke can talk properly. He just doesn't want to, I think, that much. That's why she's all, he's always quiet. <laughs> so, yeah. 
and that's where it ends so fantastic episode nice you know like a christmas and a birthday combination that was perfect and uh, yeah that was good so thanks for watching guys this was my reaction to comic can't communicate episode number four uh, season two episode number four so if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say and anything you want to let me know i'll definitely check them out so that's it thanks for watching i will see you guys next week with another episode of comic can't communicate so until then goodbye and have a nice day